Uh, with Carl in the week, uh, I think it was Tuesday or Wednesday, and, uh, was it last week? There was a program on about the child who was older than her mum. A child that was older than her mum? Yeah, right, which was, he was looking forward to as much as Oliver the, uh, the human Z. The human Z, yeah. Yeah. And, uh, I didn't it. see it in the end. Did you miss it no, as well? I missed it, so I think And, uh, as, as what it is, is this, uh, a little girl, and she's got an aging thing, so she, he was telling me about this, it's all from him, he went, and what it is, right, she's about five, right, but she's aged, so she's actually ninety. <laughs> right. Right? And I went, oh god, really, he went, yeah. And then he went, could she get served in an off licence? <laughs> I went, no. He went, well, that's not fair. I went, what do you mean? He went, well, I said, she's five years old. She's a five-year-old girl. He went, yeah, but she's got the body, body of a ninety-year-old. So, oh, God, let her have a fag. <laughs> Wouldn't you let her have one if she? <laughs> if she asked? Yeah. <coughs> if you worked in an off-licence and she wandered in, right, and, uh... <laughs> so she's two foot six. Well, I don't know because I haven't seen it. I don't know that much about yeah, it. Yeah, she's a five year old. It's, it's, it's just an aging process, which is a degeneration of the, the cells, like what aging is. It, it's, it, it doesn't mean she grew into a 90 year old woman with a scarf <laughs> no, exactly. going around the streets. <laughs> what yeah. did you imagine it looked like? I don't know. I mean, it, she's aging fast, yeah? Yes, but it's, it's more to do. It's not. Yes, yeah. Because it was saying that her mum and dad are pretty stressed out about it, and I kind of thought, well, you'd be forever buying birthday presents. <laughs> <laughs> It's not like she's morphing through various ages. <laughs> like, my God, look, she's 58 today, 59. We can't keep up. Well, what, how's it's it not work? that. It's, it's not like she's <laughs> it's, it, it, it has has the same effect as aging on the body. So, uh, 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 at a cellular level, there's a degeneration as quick as if she'd gone through. I don't know. I th I got this from you. I'm guessing, Carl. I it's not like she's watching Top of the Pops one week and she's loving it, then the next week she's going, I can't understand what they're saying, yeah. she's not like music in my day. It's all dance, I remember, I, got, I, I, remember. Mem <laughs> I remember when I was four and a half, they were yeah. real bands. Now, that S Club 7 were excellent, <laughs> yeah. but what's this tripe? S Club. But, but if she wants a fag. <laughs> she's five the... years old, Carl. But she's got to experience everything in a short spell of time, do you know what I mean? You've got time mm. to sort of... I think you're thinking of her life like that Fat Boy Slim video. Where it starts off as something crawling out of the sea and then it evolves really quickly over three minutes. I don't yeah. think that's not the case, Carl. Her mind isn't- she isn't aging mu in her mind at the same time. No, she's- She's not she's living the life- a whole life in like, you know, three weeks. It's just her body is- is degenerating quicker than it should. So- so, so if sense? you worked in odd bins, you wouldn't serve her with a bottle of wine? No, I probably wouldn't. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Unless she had some ID, which That's would probably a bit be cruel, isn't it? I said, well, on that and on top of all her other problems, he wouldn't even give her a glass of <laughs> yeah, a bottle of wine. And her ID wouldn't look right because she's aging all the time. So <laughs> she... <laughs> the photo would never match. Yeah, look at <laughs> my hair there. <laughs> oh, that was last week. Well, it was two thousand and two. <laughs> exactly. Oh, oh I don't, we don't know enough about it, so no, I haven't seen it. So uh, uh, yeah, maybe we should apologise because that could sound callous and cruel. Because I don't know what I don't know what the whole. It was just the title. The, the vibe was, of the- yeah, I know the title, the title that excited you. It was something you. like, I'm older than my mum. No, <laughs> the, it was- the, it's the child that's older than her mother. Mm. Well. Yeah. So that's- that was weird. There was some good stuff on in the week. That you missed that, that you? didn't watch it. Didn't see that. Saw, um- Maybe someone have it on video for you? Yeah, if you taped it and you d- you know, send it in. Watch it on fast forward, she'd really age then. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine that. <laughs> Whoa! What's going on? I don't know. The adverts aren't working today and I don't- I'll have to get an engineer in as well. Wait, so don't play the adverts. I don't want to play them anyway. Don't play them. It's not our fault if it doesn't work. It's- uh, Why? Do you realise if we were like live, we'd be hackled off the stage? <laughs> <laughs> right, we, we, don't play the adverts. No, we wouldn't survive in the real I'll world. I'll sort that out. Right. right. Right, get the people on the air now. Just- No! Get, get, oh. Rick, calm down. Play a record then! Do something for Christ's sake! Carl, um, <laughs> Ricky and I were doing some writing in the week and we needed a, a little- get a little book of Zodiac types. What's your thought on- Just to make sure it was good luck, you know, to be writing. Yeah. Yeah. What do you make of all that stuff, uh, horoscopes? Do you- do you, do you have any, uh, thoughts on that? No, and again, I'll read it, but- Sure. I'll believe it if it's good. Yeah. If it's not, I'm just going on. What star sign are you? That's perfect, though. <laughs> that- but that is- that- that- that's that raison d'etre. That is- uh, those people who do Zodiacs exist on that piece of philosophy. Yeah. 
I'll believe it if it's good. Exactly. And that's why when you have breakdowns, people don't go, you're a nasty little piece of work, you're a pug ugly little twat, and you'll never amount to anything. It's things like, hmm, you're probably too generous for your own good. Yeah. Um, you, you like to be a bit of a distance, but you like to love, you're a warm person. It's always, it's always stuff like that, isn't it? People go, I suppose I am to <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, that is me all over. Yeah. Mm. Do you know what I mean? You're a creative person. Yeah. Who thinks they're not a creative person? Exactly. You've got a wonderful sense of humour. Uh, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. What what starts on you? Um, mine changes. I'm on the edge. Oh, right. God. Okay. He even makes that complicated. <laughs> no, he I even am. makes twaddle complicated. <laughs> no, I'm just I'm just it changes depending what paper you read. Yeah. All right. In Tw theory, twenty third of September. So I think yeah. most of the time I'm a Virgo. I think. Oh. Well, I'll tell you. Write, write that down, uh, listeners, uh, 23rd of September, uh, and come round and give him the bumps. <laughs> um, what, 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 I mean? Well, according to this, I mean, it, I, I mean, you've been criticising this, Rick. Sure. You've been saying that there's maybe not, not anything in the same Yeah, yeah well, hang on, let me just read some of the, uh, 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 Is this gonna change my mind? Well, Am I gonna eat my words? The typical Vergoan. Mm, words. Okay. The right. physical appearance of the typical Vergoan. Yeah. High forehead. That's not true. Cranium may seem too big in comparison with the face. Look at Carl, look at Carl. But how specific is has that? Has an extremely large forehead, has a high hairline. That's M not true though, is it? May be quite tall. What are the blokes like? Often has one foot turned in more than the other. What do they- they've just described Rain Man! What is that? How can I be specific? Well that's why it sounds like Carl. <laughs> <laughs> one, one foot turned in. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Well, have they even bothered doing one for you? Because there isn't many people who- Hang on a minute. <laughs> Let him finish, Steve. No, I'm just saying- Go on. What are you I, saying? I, I sort of think I'm fairly average looking, but I'm saying, have they wasted a page in that book for whatever you are? <laughs> it started off me being dissing him and stuff, and you've been nice. Hang on a minute. I don't think you can be a Virgoan, because it says, uh, that they are normally quick, alert, and intelligent. <laughs> But no, actually, I have to say, it says here, the uh, behaviour and personality traits of the Virgoan, uh, uh, is an, it, as a child, is an excellent mimic, uh, can learn many things in a short time, yeah. not really true of you, is it? What, Re what? Rarely like, questions what? authority, but frequently questions facts. Yeah. You never question facts. Yeah, you never question authority, he's <laughs> scared of authority. Yeah. Um, uh, da -da 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 -da. yeah, you were usually trying, very, very upset if teased. That's true. Yeah, isn't it? oh yeah. Hang on a minute though. Yeah. Can't take a bit of stick, too much pressure. If you yeah. can't stand the heat, get out of the kitchen. Yeah. Oh. What to teach a young Vergoan? Myths, fairy stories, make believe, daydreams, and how to use imagination should all be taught to young Vergoans. So they have plenty of magical moments to remember in their adult years oh. when they are often alone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm changing my mind. I know. This is good stuff. So this is really good stuff. All right. Well, let's see. What, what are you? Uh, well, um, I don't, don't think we should talk about that. Yeah, let's, let's have a look. It says the Vergoan is- I love some of the specifics of this. Vergoan is oh. an employer. He's excellent as the boss of a small company. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Don't get him on a Tuesday. He's yeah, probably he's stamp probably. collecting then. Yeah. Come he on, loves so, a bit um, of paddock. Okay, let me look at my- um, Oh, that is good though, Carl, isn't it? That is you all over. I've changed my mind. It's brilliant. It's a real science. They've really put their work in with this one. Let me see, Sagittarius, oh. Sarah Jones, uh, Sagittarian is a happy, playful little clown. Little. Greets everyone. <laughs> 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 uh, oh dear. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let me see, Sagittarius at home. He's um, only gonna read the good bits though, isn't he? Yeah, exactly. If that said, what, what can it say? Mm. Uh, have, they, have they done yours in sort of small print, cos you've got special eyes? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that insult is, Carl. What kind of an insult is that? Well. He you loves know. it. He's happy with that. Look at his face. He's done me. <laughs> oh, oh dear. And come back to me. With I I tell you what. Um, I listened back to last. Carl was worried about last week's show because he said there was too much screaming and shouting and and uh, just nonsense and eating birds. It was a bit stuff. like it's a knockout last week, wasn't it? <laughs> no, yeah. And I listened back to it and. It is, it was without doubt the most appalling piece of radio I have ever heard in my life. Really? I didn't know what I was saying. I was just saying, then I finished and said, eat it! Eat it! And he's going, oh, and you're going, Carl, they're eating a hamburger. It was bizarre. Just half an hour. <laughs> uh, if anyone didn't know, know us, or I'd never heard of us, it was just like going, heart wonderful, XFM wonderful, listen to this. Eat it! Eat the burger! Eat the beans! Going, come out as well. No! It was absolutely, honestly, it was like a mental ward. <laughs> 
<laughs> to be uh, fair, though, at the best of times, you sound like you're selling the evening standard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> oh God! Oh, oh, we should have the worst bits available. Should we? Just the worst bits of broadcasting ever. So where where I didn't finish the sentence, or I was just shouting or a record. I, I mean, uh, there were swear words slipped out, and just put them all on a CD. Mm. Like uh, you know, like Panky put out the best of his phone calls. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Did it, yeah. I haven't got that. The you worst got that? radio show in the world ever. <laughs> yeah. No, that's what yeah, I call yeah. bollocks. Yeah. Oh, All right. Calm down. That's shit. just cheapened oh. it. Oh no! It's Sorry, again. Play record. Oh tits. <laughs> <laughs> Spread your love on XFM 104.9. I'm Ricky Gervais with me. Steve Mitchell. <laughs> and now it's Carl's bit. It's Carl's- it's the re-education of Carl. He's like Liza Doolittle. And now he's, uh, he's coming to- or Lawnmower Man, if you've seen that film. More like Lawnmower Man, if you've seen the film. You'll know what I mean. Um, uh, and, uh, his homework was to just study quotes, really, on- on happiness and stuff and general well-being. He's not a big happiness, uh, quote fan, are you, Carl? Not really. So what have you done? You've- you've come up with something, haven't you? Right, yeah, I told you, right? Because- a lot of these are just things you say every day. They're nothing special. Um, so what I'm doing- Well, you say them every day. <laughs> well, yeah. the sort of things you come out with and you don't even think about it, do you know what I mean? Yeah. They're, in, they're on the TV all the time, people on the radio are saying these sort of little quotes. Sure. And, um, what I've done is, remember that programme on Channel 4, Faking It? Yeah. Where they got some, like, posh kid to be on a door and all that. What I've done, <laughs> I've, um- <laughs> Imagine if that was the pitch <laughs> for the show. Dear Channel <laughs> 4. You're just gonna get yeah, a posh kid on a door or something? Yeah, yeah, come in, come Carl. in. Yeah, TV yeah. producer. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, go on. So, what I've done, <laughs> this little book of quotes, uh, happiness quotes, I've, um, I've picked two that are real. Okay. And I've made one up, alright? <laughs> and we've got a guess. And you've got a guess. Okay then, go on Well, then. I'll tell you what, Rick, why don't we, when we've heard them, we won't confer, no. you'll write down yours, yeah. A, B or C, and I'll yeah. write down mine and we'll sure. see how okay, it is. Okay, Carl, off you go. Right, and just because I'm l I'm looking at this book, it doesn't mean I'm actually reading. No, I know. <laughs> Don't no, worry, no. We're, we're clever. No, no, we know, we know, we can't there. see. Yeah, Can yeah. I call my bluff? Yeah, okay. go on in. Nothing is worth more than this day. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. The way I see it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh God, my head's gonna burst. No, hang on. My head's gonna burst. No, hang no, on. this might not be Carl's. Oh, it might not be. How do you know I haven't tweaked them a little bit? Yeah, good okay, point. Good enough. point. No, good point. The way I see it, if you want the rainbow, you got to put with the rain. Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. All right. Yeah. Okay. Hang on. Come on. Cat food. <laughs> Cat food, go on. It stinks a bit, but if you don't put up with the smell, the little kitten will die. <laughs> <laughs> Steve, Steve, I don't know what to say. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to say. Imagine this in faking it. Imagine their faces when he says that. And they're going, oh my god. Oh. Carl, play a song, mate. <laughs> oh. We'll have to confer on this one. <laughs> <laughs> Freedom again. Two, two were real, one was fake. Go on then. Right. Uh, first one. Nothing is- uh, nothing is worth more than this day. Excellent. Next one. What does that mean? Well, cherish- cherish yeah. now, cherish your yeah. time. Okay. Because you- you, uh, you can't get it back and, yeah. you know- That's the way um, I saw it. Carpe diem, whatever it is, seize the day and all that. Okay. If you want the rainbow, you've got to put up with the rain. Yeah, of course. Yeah, rough with the smooth. You know, it's not all plain sailing, but- you know, rainbow's beautiful, but it comes because of the rain, which you might not like, so yeah. make the most of everything and, yeah, yeah. good. <laughs> Cat food doesn't smell good, <laughs> but if you don't put up with it, then the little kitten will die. <laughs> right, now, Carl, that is a good effort. Now, that one's yours. I mean, obviously, right? Right. Right, no, no, but it's a good effort, right? I mean, it slipped seamlessly into the others. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think it didn't. No, but it's this good. I mean, we knew it, we knew it was that one, but- um, what I will say is, it's good, but what you don't know, maybe subconsciously, is, I mean, it, it, it's n very similar to, uh, the putting up with the rain and the rainbow, but well, that's good. Why do you think that? Well, 
What- what does mine mean? Well, uh, even, well, even though it smells bad, it's good for something. Right, so see, I, what, I didn't look at it like that. What, what did you look at that? Uh, I- I kind of thought- Was yours more specifically about cat food, <laughs> generally? Because <laughs> right? you know normally they like- it's an analogy. Yeah, or a metaphor for something, you know, much well, food. Well, no, the way I- I mean, Do it. Dolly Parton, who I think did the rainbow, rain thing, she wasn't specifically concerned about weather conditions. No. It was a sort of general idea. Yeah, it was all about yeah, life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's- that's what I've done. Go on, okay. well, I've used an everyday thing. Yeah. And put it with today's problems, right? Go on. So, like, um, my girlfriend, yeah? Um, she might like to go shopping for clothes. I hate it. Right. But because of- because I love her, I put up with it. Ah, oh, that's nice. Yeah? Yeah. So, you- you love that little curtain. You can't stand the smell of the stuff you got to feed it, but because you love it, you go well. You know, I'll put up with this just for a few minutes, and then I can like squeeze its head later and give it a little. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. Can we can we go back? You know, stroke its head and stuff. Oh right, yeah. Sorry, it was a bit of a slip, was it? <laughs> squeeze its little head. <laughs> no, yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, that's just the thing that I do. With cats. <laughs> put it in a bag and drown it in a lake. <laughs> I can feed it and then I can throw it against <laughs> yeah, the wall. Exactly. So you, yeah. didn't, you didn't see it like that, did you? No, that's very good. So it's about love, is it? It's about putting up with the bad things yep. for, for, for something you love. Yeah. Well, that's nice. But, but, but that's Carl, good. you seem now to be convinced and rather smug that you've tricked us and that you've fooled us and that we didn't understand it. Well, well I say that's your fault, not ours. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not, though. I mean, look, that man in Forrest Gump, he was a bit of a nutter. <laughs> And he, he came up with the life as a box of chocolates thing. Yeah. Now, if that was in this book, you'd say, oh yeah, brilliant, you know, good bit of work. But if he was sat here doing the show with you, yeah. you'd be taking the mickey out of him. Sometimes well, I feel he is. <laughs>
xfm.co.uk. No, that website, if they want to see the most... Oh, I don't know where it is. I'm yeah. just yeah, saying sorry. xfm.co.uk forward slash Ricky if you want to see that picture. And whoever bidded 50 quid, if you can send the email again. Bid, whoever bid. Whoever bidded. Yeah. <laughs> we should start picking you up on your grammar. I mean, we're hardly ones to speak, but, you know. I squoosed. I, I, I squoosed. <laughs> Uh, I'll tell you this, uh, this, maybe we should bring back White Van Carl. There's some interesting questions this week, Rick. Yeah? We could, we could pull that out of the bag if you want to. Shall we do that? Just, uh, get, uh, Carl's take on, uh, the world's Let's do it, let's we'll, do it. I'll tell you what, we'll do that in a second. Let's have another educating Rick. Listen, uh, we haven't done it for a while. White Van Man. I thought yeah, there's some back, interesting questions raised today and yeah. I think it might be nice to well, just throw them, uh, I think we set Carl up again in the last hour as a person that people want to know yeah, his know opinions on the world, yeah. Yeah, well, uh, yeah. if you're not familiar with it, uh, on Saturdays the Sun newspaper, um, asks a typical white van driver questions, uh, his opinions on the week's news. Mm. And uh, we thought we'd throw these in the direction of Carl. Um, yeah. And then what do you make? Uh, what do you make of uh, this teenage thug, Carl Mickey Carroll, who spent four months in jail and he's won 9.7 million on the uh, lottery? Is that justice? When you think of all the good people that are going hungry, and there's a lad there and he's won. Did he buy the ticket before 7. he went in? Uh, no, I think he bought it once he'd come out. So he's he's done his time. He's done his time. Fair enough. Then he's he's been punished. Yeah. Right. He's bought a ticket. He's had a lot of bad luck. Mm-hmm. Now he's having a bit of good luck. Quite right. Next one. Are Next you one. concerned that now he's got all that money he could turn into like a sort of mastermind villain? You know, like a James Bond style villain? He's oh. got a criminal streak, we know that. Is that a concern for you? Well, well we imagine don't. that. He could build we, some kind of underwater fortress. We don't. With, with, with my lawyer's hat on, we don't know that. Yeah, well. <laughs> <laughs> well, he'd have to prove that he didn't have a criminal streak. <laughs> I'd say, have you been in jail for four months? <laughs> yeah. yeah sometimes but people are bad because they haven't got any money, so he might be just an angel of gold now. Or yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. One in five children aged between 11 and 16 go on booze binge sessions at least once a week. That's terrifying news, isn't it? Kids, they, they know, they know too much now. Yeah. yeah. Um, you despair. Despair. to you, yeah. You despair. <laughs> yeah, no, right? yeah. Listen to this one, right? Go on. Me, me dad had me, uh, niece in the car, right, running her to school one day. And, uh, She's in the back of the car with a mate, and they're chatting away about stuff like kids do. Um, and they got onto the topic of one of the mates, and he said, I mean, you've got to remember, niece, this point was probably about five or six, something mm. like that, right? Mm. In the back of the car, talking about My Little Pony, whatever it is they play with. Uh, subject changed. Um, oh, that Lisa in, uh, in our class, she's a lesbian, isn't she? Right. <laughs> that was the top, that's what they were talking about. Yeah. Chatting away about it. <laughs> Just openly talking about yeah. lesbianism. And probably, you know, <laughs> this is the topic that they're talking about in the pub when they're having <laughs> out drinking. Yeah. Yeah, but they might have thought a lesbian was a, 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 you know, a, a funny word or something. You don't, you don't necessarily know the, the ins and outs of it, do they? It's, it's weird though, isn't it? Because when I was, when I was younger at school, you didn't like, I mean, you swore a little bit, but it wasn't like major swear words. And you sort of did a little bit of nicking, but nothing like they get up to now. I mean, if my my um, girlfriend when she was about seven or eight, she was walking to school with her mum, and she called her a C U N. You are Joe. No, she said, "Oh, you're because she thought it was a big. She said she thought it was a big furry animal. She thought so she was being nice. <laughs> and I remember, like, where'd you do that? Where'd you do that? <laughs> like, just heard it at school. So they might, you know, they might not know what it means. Well, I tell you, you know, um, I have to, I'm gonna have to use kind of euphemisms here to tell right. this story, but when I was at school, I learned, you know the stronger version, it's not the same word, but it's very similar with one letter change. I'm gonna use twit. Yeah. You know the word I'm thinking of. Yeah. But I, I'm gonna use the word twit to replace it, right? And I said, you, I went round- Do you think they're twat? Yeah. Alright. That's, right. that's what I'm thinking of. And, um, so can I say it? Am I allowed to say it? No, no it's, 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 not, it's weird it. though, because no, hang on, some we're... people look from Cornwall use that like saying twit, so- if people well, listen in Cornwall, you know, I think a twit I think is a pregnant goldfish. Well, well, uh, I I learned the uh, I learned the stronger version of twit. Yeah, um, twat. <laughs> 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 For those that aren't sure, <laughs> um, I, I learned this in school when I was like ten or whatever, and I didn't know what it meant. I thought it was just a stronger version of twit. Yeah, I thought it was just if you were really annoyed with someone because they were yeah. a real twit. Because uh, I is worse than I. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Apparently, so you know, <laughs> Carl would be a twit. And, yeah. um, and so I started using this at home because I didn't realise what it meant. I started using this at home. Oh, you twit, you're a twit, and said it to my dad. You're a twit, you're, you know, but yeah. not saying twit. Yeah. And my dad didn't know what it meant either. 
That's great. Wait, I can believe. So he started using it as well, right? So uh, then we'd be driving in the car. He'd be saying to my mum, "You stupid, do it." Yeah. And you know, and he'd say to my mum, "You, you, you, you don't pull over, pull over. You're going to bother you." And then saying this, then I learned at school from Mark Johnson what it really meant. Yeah. Stopped using it. Obviously, finding out it was quite an offensive word. Yeah. Couldn't. I didn't want to bring it up to my dad. I didn't want to sit my dad down and say, "Dad, you know that word we've been saying? Yeah. You know what it means?" So now, to this day, I've never brought it up with him. So we'll be driving, you know, he'll be, I'll go in for Christmas, we'll be driving around, he'll be calling my mum that word. <laughs> Left, right and centre. I think she knows. I think she's just embarrassed. Or she's just upset and she knows what it means. She goes, why does he keep calling me this terrible word? <laughs> but he's the only one, I think, in our family who doesn't know what it means. No one's oh. got the guts to say. I don't know whether I should tell him this oh, Christmas. Oh, what a twat. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Doves, caught by the river on XFM 104.9. Well, it's been a good show, hasn't it? It's mm. been sort of like a, quite a rock and roll 70s feel to it, mainly the equipment. Um, but, uh, we got through it. Carl's been telling us some great insights into his, his mind, mm. really. We've had a few laughs, a few tears. A bit stressful. What were you telling me in the week about when you went to visit your dad in hospital? Oh, we're talking about, um, yeah, me, me, when I got back off holiday and my dad was, was in hospital, I shot back to see him, see how he's getting on, and uh, hospitals are depressing places, aren't they? Mm, yeah, yeah. Really, like, phew, God, you know, they, they, you know, if, even if you're not that ill, it makes you feel worse. Yeah. Because it's really, like, drags you down, there's people walking around moaning, you know. You, uh, mainly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nurses. And, uh, yeah. my dad Ooh, was political. like, yeah. yeah. Is that a high five? Satire. satire. Yeah. yeah. I would like to be the manager of paid enough and all that, and I oh. do, like. No, well, that's. Tony Blair, are you listening? <laughs> I, don't, I don't want to look like I'm moaning about the people working because they all work really hard. Yeah, of course they do, yeah. yeah. But it's just God bless hard, him. hard, depressing places. High five. Nice one, Go nice on. one. Yeah. Right, so, um, so I'm sat there, my dad's, uh, getting fed up. And, uh. <laughs> Is that because you're visiting? <laughs> Just, just, he's quite an active bloke, and yeah. all of a sudden he's got to like stay in bed and, yeah. you know, it's like sit down, stop moving about and all this. Yeah. So, um, so he's sat there, and there's an old woman in the bed next door, right? And, uh, she's, I mean, she's in, she's in a bad way anyway. Yeah. Right. She must have been, she looked about, I'd say she looked about 98 or something like that. Okay, good. Right. Now, I don't know what was wrong with her, but she was always constantly moaning, and you could see that the nurses were trying their best to keep her happy, and she wasn't having any of it. And, uh, you know, she was moaning because her hands had gone blue. <laughs> well, that is a worry, to be honest. Well, it's not, because she's 98. Is that what happens? But why, why doesn't the doctor, if I was a doctor, and I'm not one, but, no, uh, no, Carl, don't be modest. Are you a doctor? Yes but, or no? But if I, was I think there, he's let it slip. Are you, Carl, are you a doctor? No, listen. Look me in the eye. Right. Yeah. right so Carl, this woman had blue hands. Had she, she had, seen um, a spacecraft? <laughs> right. <laughs> so, <laughs> go on. She had blue hands. Now, she's 98. If I was a doctor, I'd No, she's not 98. You said, you said earlier on she looked about 98. So you're making that up? <laughs> it's just shifted from speculation to fact. <laughs> Absolute fact now. Yeah. Yeah. Right, she's 98. <laughs> Now. <laughs> There's yeah, a hundred year old woman. Yeah, yeah, go on, yeah. If I was a doctor, I'd be thinking. You're not, are you? <laughs> you, <laughs> you honestly, you think you're how would I con them? <laughs> <laughs> how would I get away with this? I'd yeah. be thinking. <laughs> right. She's 98. Um, she hasn't got long left. Why not just let her be at home and be happy in with her own hands. in her own yeah. space? Yeah. Um, you know, and let her let her have a, a nice life, whatever's left. Because she may hurt herself. She may have falls. Some people have to go in there for their own protection. She might not have immediate family. Well, no, she may not have been dragged in against her will. No, she no. may have come to hospital because she was worried yeah. about her blue hands. Yeah. Yeah, but I, when I was talking to Ricky, he said, "Oh, what it would have been is uh, probably a bit of." Did you say it's rheumatism or something? No, I said it might. I mean, the, the blueness can be through uh, lack of circulation. Right. But. So just. And so I'm right, definitely you've got, not a doctor. You've got, you've got blue hands, bad circulation, we're gonna send you home, we'll give you a Rubik's Cube, um, play around with that with your hands, get, get the blood- <laughs> Get <laughs> Rubik's Cube! Get, yeah. get the blood pumping, yeah. um, and don't worry, I don't say, oh, it's really bad, just think, she's 98, yeah. let her have a nice rest of the life. Yeah. But instead, she was there, and the annoying thing was, and they do this with a lot of people in hospital, they pump you with drugs, uh -huh. try to sort it out, they don't, you know, they probably a bit of guesswork going on. Maybe. A little not, bit. Not as much as <laughs> you, but go on. Right. And because of that, 
they sort of break wind a lot. So I'm sat there with my dad talking. Whoa, 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 Drugs do that, Steve. <laughs> I'm sure if there's a doctor listener or a nurse, they will clarify <laughs> right. that if they pump you with all sorts of stuff, um, it wants to come out. <laughs> right. So you're sat there having a serious chat. It's a quiet hospital. <laughs> the woman next door with the blue hands suddenly starts seeping gas, right? W I start laughing. Because this is one thing that makes you laugh. It's like- It's <laughs> a, a 98 year old woman with blue hands, fine. <laughs> so you try to hold it in because it's a really quiet hospital and it's, it'd be obvious that we were, uh, that I was laughing at her and I, I didn't want to be mean, but right. it was funny. And then it got me t talking about my auntie, because my auntie Nora, um, she, uh, she, same thing. Pumped her with loads of drugs. She used to- a, a, a cabinet next to the bed is like boots. She's got <laughs> loads of stuff, right? For all sorts of stuff. And, I mean, she's not that old, but she's on loads of stuff, right? She's and a bit coked up if she's she, smoked. Uh, she called up my mum once, and <laughs> yeah, uh, you told us this. Go on, tell it again. And uh, she said, "Oh, how are you doing?" And that it's all right. A uh, bit worried though. My mum said, "Why? What's up?" She said, "I've uh, been breaking wind." So she goes, "Well, yeah." She says, "No, but this one is going on and on and on." And she was <laughs> like, "She was, she was like, what, 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 what do you say? What's like passing wind, farting for five minutes, <laughs> one, one." thing. Not like, you know, trumping and then nothing. Yeah. Continuous. Continuous drone of a fart. Yeah. I don't think she had- how big was she? She must have been the size of a barn. No, she's not that big. She's, you know, she's good for age. No, quite but I mean- that. That. Quite slim. No, it's but fine for five minutes. Uh, where's all the guy? was she circular breathing? Was she sucking it in with her mouth? It was just- <laughs> I don't know. I don't know that much about it. But she called up my mum. About two and a half minutes in. Could you hear <laughs> it in the background? <laughs> <laughs> two and a half minutes in, she called him up, <laughs> and it went, it went on for a further two and a half minutes. Oh. And she just stayed on the phone, did she? Where was the phone? Uh, going, well, can you hear that? Well, <laughs> yeah, did she hold the phone next to her ass? <laughs> Listen to she, that. She was off the ground. I'm trying to work a tune down. <laughs> <laughs> she was, she was actually hovering. She was four yeah. foot off the ground yeah. when they found her, the ambulance yeah. man. The cat's dead. <laughs> <laughs> Don't light a match! <laughs> Don't light that cigarette! <laughs> yeah, it's like that advert. The kids come home from school, switch on the lights. Yeah! <laughs> there <laughs> they see Granny yeah. hovering, <laughs> turn the light on. <laughs> Be careful if you have an elderly woman at home. Yeah. <laughs> Drugs so, make you fart. So that's- that's what I'm saying, you know, just let these people- What? What are you saying? No, wait a minute, what are you saying? I'm saying let people enjoy the life they've got left. No, you're not. You're saying don't put them in hospital, leave them at home to die. No, I'm not. Uh, give them a Rubik's Cube right. and let them die. That's what something. you're saying. Yeah, I'll tell you something now, right? <laughs> Steve, right. I'll tell you something. I didn't want to do it because it brings the show down. But she did die. Who? The blue-handed lady? Yeah. How do you know? Because I said to me dad, how's the, uh, Woman next door. She, said, oh, she went. She went last night. They've got an old fella oh in there now. God. So there you go. So wouldn't it have been better to leave her at home, where her friends and family can call and speak to her, even nip that round if they want, you know, with a cat. I, think, I imagine. <laughs> no, it's definitely a cat now. What wasn't uh, that cat's called? Do you imagine? Probably. I'm seeing like a big ginger one. So I don't know. Something <laughs> like, I don't know. Maybe ginger or whatever. <laughs> Um, maybe I'd a budgie. But that's what I'm saying, just let them enjoy their life, because dying in hospital, I wouldn't like to do it. If- if I went to the doctors and they said you haven't got long life left, I'd say, well, I'll- I'll stay at home. Yeah. And that's- that's the point I'm getting at. Yeah. Right? If you can't do anything for them, let them enjoy their life. Yeah, a Rubik's Cube. <laughs> right, well, um, good. It backfired. Now, uh, let's play- the second uh, of the Rolling Stones track, I'm gonna try and do this every week. It's a feature called Two Lazy to Go and Get Another Album. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what about a classic bit of rock and roll? Yeah? I'd love to hear Brown it. Brown Sugar. Do you know what this is about, Carl? Drugs. Maybe, I'll tell you later. Placebo, The Bitter End. That's the first single to be lifted from their forthcoming album, Sleeping With Ghosts, which you can hear in full on the XFM online listening posts. <laughs> I'm Ricky, <laughs> your cheeky little devil, Gervais. With me, Steve. Alright ladies, what can I get you to drink? What, you think I'm made of money? I meant half a mile or something, merchant. And Carl, oh I'm stressed, I'm stressed. If it's too hard I don't want to do it. Pilkington. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs>
Oh, well, it's nice to be back, Rick. Mm. Um, mm. Rick, I heard a, uh, a rumour that you weren't going to be playing great music today. <laughs> I'm assuming <laughs> See, that's, that's wrong. That, uh, it is wrong. This is what I mean about the, 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 the grapevine and sure. just uh, Chinese whispers. I, I'm, I'm not having it. There's some great music coming up. Right. So, I just heard that there was going to be uh, some boring chat. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it's that. Well, I want, I want names. <laughs> I mean, I don't want to name <laughs> names, but that's the gossip well, I heard. it's totally wrong. It's I heard it was gonna be inane, <laughs> ill thought out, often no. stupid. No, we're, uh, Carl's not gonna talk so much this week. We're gonna try and sort of, uh, bring, you know, bring it back to, to real radio. So that's an absolute lie. Yeah, yeah, great, 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 great. 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 Alright, Carl, have a good week? Yeah, not bad. Have you? Yeah. Mm. Going on you now, aren't you? Well, I will be doing later. Tell yeah. you about that later on. What yeah. um? Uh, can there's I a hook. <laughs> <laughs> can I just check? Because there are rules in place, aren't there? Yeah. There was a big. There was a big bust up in the week. I'm, I don't not, know if we I, could I'm only allowed to wind him up. I am not allowed to wind him up socially now. I'm not allowed to. What am I not allowed to do socially? Um, I think squeezing the head. Okay. Uh, socially, yeah. it's, it's been crossed off. Right, okay. Um, and I, I agreed to that because it got to a head where you know Carl was really upset and he was yeah. thinking of just uh, giving it giving it all in, weren't you? Yeah. Yeah. What? Why was that? Because he was just winding me up too much. Yeah. I mean, do you want to bring it all up again? <laughs> I don't mind. What was I doing? It was. It was just. It, I mean, I should say now that there was a conversation where it was all. It, we were all sort of really walking on eggshells. It was. Yeah. It was frosty. It was a conference call, and Carl was on one end, and I tell you, it was. <laughs> I, mean, I was very much a media. I was very much a UN mediator. <laughs> what do you think of that? Carl? It's, it was difficult to sort of keep it serious when I'm saying stuff like, "I'm sick of you putting a Burger King bag on me head." <laughs> Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. There's a part of me that's <laughs> like, I can't believe we're doing this. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. it's, it's I what I like about it is that, um, I'm laughing and going, well, I won't do that anymore. And he's going, you can still do it on air. And, it, like, today I was gonna, I came in, I went to squeeze and he went, at one o'clock? I yeah. love those rules! Yeah. I love those rules! Well, between the hours of one and three on a Saturday, you <laughs> like, can squeeze his hair, you can put a boot <laughs> thing back on his- wait! It's yeah. terrible! Oh, well, dear. Well, that all started last week as well, really, because I got in a bit earlier to do an edit for you on some track that had swearing in it, right? Yeah. So I get in early, he comes in, first thing he does is go to sort of squeeze me head. <laughs> And my reaction was, not now, do it later. <laughs> yeah. As if it's alright to do it later. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that's, that's kind of what made me think, this isn't normal. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> we should just point out, when, you, when we say squeezing your head, what exactly does that mean? I, I, I put my hand on the front, I do two experiments, right? Yeah. One is the side, because you can crush an egg sideways, so I think that's more dangerous. Right. And I squeeze, I actually put my elbows out, and I press like a vice, and I really go for it until it really hurts. And the front one is, it shouldn't hurt so much, if, I'm, if my experiment's right, I don't know. <laughs> Well, I mean, <laughs> well, it was all this that sort of, you know, built up. Sure. Um, and the research that you're doing there, Rick, is that going to be available online at some point? Well, that, that was the problem. That's what I was saying to him, because it kind of started last week. Uh, well, it's been going on since we've known you, yeah. hasn't it, really? Yeah, but it's- I just upped it. I just upped it, it last it, week. It got out of hand a bit. I upped yeah. it to when I, um, I think it got to, uh, I had on, um, Thursday when I filmed it. <laughs> that was it, yeah. That's right, yeah. I brought in a cameraman to film me torturing him. And yeah. there was some um, people from the sixth floor being shown round. Yeah, some management and that showing probably clients round. You yeah. know, sort of they've probably been on all the different floors, same all yeah. the different radio they've stations. They've seen Dr. Do. Fox. Uh, this this is XFM, the sort of alter. <laughs> <laughs> this, this sort of noise going on. Yeah. You see them all look down. I'm saying, don't do that, right? Sure. Because they might they might want to spend a load of money. Yeah. Right? yeah, yeah, yeah. So just, and he's he's doing that. He's wrestling with me. He's filming it. <laughs> so that's when I just thought, you know. Man, isn't it? And then when, when we were having the argument on the phone, I was saying, uh, you know, has this been some sort of experiment? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he yeah. did, he said that, and of course I lost it. Yeah. But, uh, it's all, it's all good now, Would you want to squeeze his head before we play the next I, I won't at the moment, because, I mean, we've got to get on, it's not, it's not right. And that annoyed me as well, um, cos I was, um, trying to find out where he was going. I was filming him, I was going, I'm waiting for Carl, I told Johnny he's meeting a mate at six, so, which annoys me on two counts, and I'm just doing it to the camera. Um, you know, so I'm gonna, f I'm gonna follow him and just turn up and go, alright, where you been? But then when I came and he went, I'm oh, meeting a mate, and he told me where it was, so I told him that spoils my fun. Of course. Cause I you'd want, you'd want it to just track yeah, him Yeah, I don't want, I don't want him to like it. Yeah. Which is sort, it's sort of taken, pulled the rug under my carpet now that he's gonna let me do, do you know what I mean? It's just, yeah. it's a little bit annoying. It's that thing though, you see, uh, this happened years ago to me, right? When, you know, you get pally with someone, mm -hmm. and then you wind each other up, mm -hmm. And then there comes a time mm. when you just go over the line, yeah. right? What happened? Well, it was this lad called Anthony, right? He was my mate, yeah. and uh, we used to sort of always have a have a little fight in the toilet and that, right? Sure. Uh, punch each other. No, I want to wipe it. And the, and the punches, you know, used to get harder. 
yeah. and stuff. And then, you know, so he, he hit me harder. Turned out into a proper fight. Yeah. I chipped his tooth on the sink. Right? Right. This happened at school, and it was time for assembly, and I thought, oh, and he's, he's in the toilet crying. I thought, oh. Go to assembly. Uh, there's, a, there's police in there, in the assembly that day, telling people about unnecessary violence. And you thought they were there for you? So I'm like, oh, no. Anthony's gonna come in in a minute, like, crying with all blood coming from his mouth. I'm yeah. gonna get arrested. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Did you go and, and sleep? And that, that was an example of- Yeah. I mean, it, it kind of happened because I went out with- a girl who he fancied. How, that, how, how, that's how old are we? Order. How old are we now? Uh, about eight or nine. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's out of order. Going out with a mate's girl. Yeah, but it, she didn't like him. He had like big ears and that. He, she, he had no yeah, chance. So why should dish. I? No, but do you know what I mean? All right, I haven't got the looks like I used to. Sure, when you're eight. But that's, you... that's before the stress of you know having head squoes and that sort of thing. <laughs> <I mean. laughs> I have aged a lot. Since. Having, having, your, having your head squoze. I love your own grammar. <laughs> yeah. I know, yeah. is that, that's the past tense, is it? Uh, I mean, yeah. Squeeze or to have squoze. <laughs> oh, he did squoze his head. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so, brilliant. So you know. It's what just about a bit of Bowie? A bit of Bowie? Bit, be my wife, Carl. I'm asking you. Let's make I think we can squeeze that in. But be, be my wife, Carl. Come on. Right. I haven't really had time to check it out this week. No, been, you're joking. Been busy. Ooh, been busy. I hope it's not stupid. Um, goes back to 1908 and the person saying it's, you know, it's a good story and that, and I'll be surprised they haven't picked up on it yet, right? <laughs> uh, the Olympics, right? Yeah. Um, in 1908 in yeah. London. <laughs> Apparently it was meant to happen in, in Italy, but it was cancelled. Don't know why, right? And it happened in London. Yeah. Anyway, 400 metres, right, it was meant to... <laughs> uh, there was a fella who was who was going to do the run, right? And the favourite to win it was this Bulgarian guy, right? It right. was like a new Okay, comic. Uh, these, these are a few things it cannot be. One, he injures himself so a monkey steps in and wins. Uh, two, he does a drugs test, it turns out that he is a monkey. <laughs> um, so if it's either of those, right, I'm going to go mad. So anyway, so the fella, right, this this favourite, everyone's putting the money on him, thinking, yeah, he's going to do it. Gonna is he hairy? Nice is this bloke hairy? So anyway, so the race happens. Yeah. And everybody's lined up, ready to run, and you know, everyone's saying, yeah, he's gonna win, he's gonna win, and suddenly, a bit of murmuring going on, people going, oh, what's going on here? Mm, right? he's eating a banana. <laughs> and oh, there's a fella, just... there's a fella in the lane next to him, yeah. right, he's going up, who's that? He doesn't look familiar. Oh, Christ, Carl. Keep going. Right, doesn't look familiar, who's he? Yeah. You know, weird, weird, What's weird, going on, it? what's going on, what's yeah. going on? Yeah, what is it, what is it? Or who is it, I mean, or not what is it? So they go in. <laughs> So they say, well, he might not be that any good. Do you know what I mean? He might not be good. He might. It's just a bit short, and he's, he's, matter, he's only three foot six, and he's hunched over on his knuckles. So I didn't uh, realise it was fancy dress. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, I, don't, I don't think he's gonna be any good. <laughs> so, so the race starts. Oh, he's putting his finger up his ass. That's weird for a runner to do that before a race. It's weird, isn't it? yeah. Race starts. Yeah. The fella that no one recognises wins it. People go, what, what, what's gone on here? Yeah, sure. Do you yeah. know what I mean? We yeah. had our money on the favourite. What's gone on? Who yeah. is this guy? Yeah. Anyway, he stood up there, right? He's, he's looking well happy. Yeah. He's lifting the trophy and everything. Right. Okay. right. Long arms, long arms. That trophy's higher than. So God. anyway, he's so only three foot, but the trophy's nine foot in the air with those long arms. <laughs> so it's so I'm suspicious. Go on. They had the they had the picture in the paper the next day. Sure. And everyone's going, yeah, he's, he was fast and everything, but quite hairy for a run. Oh, for f I'll tell you come what, on, no. come quite, on. quite hairy for a run, because normally they shave themselves, don't they, to s make them faster and no. they're going, how did he manage it? It's really hairy and that. So anyway, he wins the stuff, he walks away with a cup, the people who are in charge of the running, or like the, uh, the Oli Olympic committee, look further into it, turns out it was a chimp. Right, keep talking. Right. No, don't keep talking. Shut, Shut up. Shut it? up. This is monkey news. You can't handle the news. It's news from 1909 and I haven't heard about a chimp winning the Olympics. <laughs> right, be quiet. What happened there then? 400 metres, right? Now Don't the thing is- Don't talk shit. The Please, only thing was, Ricky. it took so long for the Olympic committee, right, to find out that it was a monkey. It was going man- it was like going, like manic. It went into loads of races, it was picking up loads of like- NO races. SHUT UP! Right? It became a celebrity, it was doing, <laughs> it was doing endorsements on TV. DON'T TALK SHIT! Uh, it said, uh, he managed to win the right. same race four years later in Athens because- How did he get to- But it's, it's a joke! They're winding you up, Carl! Weird. It's not weird, weird it's in- it? right. I do not believe it. Well, that's okay. That's- so. there's only three of them to go then. Right, because we're probably all leaving in four weeks time and that's the end, I am- 
I've got to get onto a sort of mainstream radio station because I don't think there's any other sort of tin pot place like this, is there? No. Um, so I'm gonna clear up my act a little bit. I've got an album from the, uh, Capital Radio Library, um, and it's the best, um, punk album in the world ever, so if Capital's listening I can- I'm just gonna show that I can do a mainstream- I'm gonna play a classic song and I'm gonna right, announce okay, it yeah, right and yeah, everything, yeah, yeah, so yeah. Uh, If you get a job on- on a decent station you'll take me with you, will you? We're a pair. Brilliant. So, uh, okay, here we go, right, if anyone's listening, just to show that I can do mainstream radio, okay? okay? Well that's all- Okay, let me well, you're getting no, nervous, no, 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 you're okay, never okay. nervous, okay. come on. Shall I- shall I get a monkey okay. and do it? It's alright, it's alright. Okay. Well that's about all there is time for today. You've been listening to Ricky Gervais with me, Stephen Merchant. Across the way, K-Man Pilkers. Uh, we're going all the way back now, a classic song from the late 1970s, and this is Devo with Mongoloid. <laughs> Strokes, uh, someday. I'm already annoyed. I'm in I've a, been here I'm in a bad three mood. minutes and I'm already annoyed. Yeah. Oh, I, oh. I'll bring back Claire, I tell you. No, it's not his fault, it it's is. the whole place. The library's shite. I tried to go. Oh, God. I had to go, I had to, go chill, to the Capitol chill, chill. Library. Uh, oh. Chill, chill. Fancy that. Chill. I had to go to Capitol Library to get a couple of records I wanted, right? Place is falling apart. The email's not working. It's so shoddy. He's had two weeks off. Oh, my God. I mean, it, they. I really. They might as well bulldoze this, honestly, because mm. for all the. You know. It is ludicrous. And uh, we get paid peanuts. You get paid, do you? <laughs> 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 oh, and it really annoys me that I have to fight. Oh, anyway. Anyway, it's just calm down. 104.9, I'm Ricky Gervais, with me Steve Merchant Hello. and Carl Pilkerson. Carl, you're back. Alright. How was it? What, the holiday? Yeah. Uh, well it wasn't all fun, was it? Cos my dad was in, uh, was in hospital. Oh, but he wasn't- He wasn't during the holiday. Not during the holiday though, was he? You came back from holiday and then found that out, didn't you? Yeah, but it happened when I was on holiday. Did yeah. you know that though, when you are on holiday? No. Cos I didn't take my phone with me. Well, that's well the weird thing is, yeah. I got- I got a feeling. Okay. When I was sat there, cos it normally happens last night- What was the nudie speech, was it? When I first went away to- You saw that old fella with his packet out. When I went to Ibiza, right, I, uh, I had a feeling, and I called home, my dad had punched the lung. When I you say you had a feeling, what do you mean a feeling? Just like, oh, I should call home, there's something not right. Mm. But this <laughs> time- very specific <laughs> feeling. How did that- <laughs> how did that manifest itself? <laughs> <laughs> how does that- how does it get it, that- what kind of oh, feeling? I'm, that tingling I'm getting, thing? I'm getting a bit of a lung feeling. <laughs> yeah, mm, A bit of a dad lung that feeling. Like, that feels like a punctured lung. Mm. <laughs> well done. But anyway. No, but anyway, the holiday was good. We talked about it last week. Well, let's, let's probe Carl about his holiday later, cos, okay. you know, that's the sort of thing that audiences will stay tuned for, Rick, I'm pretty certain. <laughs> yeah, sure. Find out about you know more things. about this radio uh, business than me. You know, you've you hooked them already. Indeed, yeah. Um, well also yeah. I'm thinking we've got nothing. <laughs> Ever so now. We may as well really? save that. No, I resent it. I used to put a lot of work in, but no, I, you know, I, I think of the money, which is, you know, for me, Pretty shoddy. <laughs> well, yeah, I, mean? I, mean, you, I don't usually get out of bed for that. Well, exactly, yeah. And, uh, you know, the whole thing is the whole setup. It was raining today. I thought I should have a cabin. Mm. You know, mm, and then mm, the mm. sun came out, so I walked in again. Ah, mm. <laughs> <sighs> oh, dear. How are you? But, um, I'll tell you what, I got a bit of criticised last week as well. That I, I only played ballads and same songs, so I'm, I'm gonna rock out this week. Oh, I'm I've been down to the Capitol Library right. to get some good tunes. And, uh, what about a little bit of ACDC? Oh, took me all night long. Let's hear it. Well, that's cheered me up. In a better mood now? Yeah. Good. That's quite- that's three- three rock out today. There, yeah, well, yeah. Better Led Zeppelin, maybe, Stones. Brilliant, yeah, some other classics. No yeah. Way. When are we gonna talk about Carl? Have oh, we run out of stuff yeah. already? Oh, okay, really. let's go. Okay, now, uh, yeah. So uh, where did you go, Carl? What was the story? Um, it was my birthday, mm -hmm. right? Um, went home after doing- working with you a couple of Saturdays ago, mm -hmm. right? Uh, girlfriend was like, open your card, open your card, and I said, no, it's my birthday on- on Monday, I'll open it <laughs> You then. obey by the rules, don't you, <laughs> on right. birthdays? Uh, birthday said, rules. Well, there's no point. Well, exactly, <laughs> chaos leads that way. Yeah, <laughs> right, so, uh Not an anarchist, never has been. So yeah. anyway, she, she was kept going on, and uh, it was doing me head in, so I said, alright, I'll open it. Yeah. So I opened it, ticket fell out, uh, surprise holiday to one of the Canary Islands. So- And what was your reaction, I mean- First one was, we haven't got enough money. Right. For this. But I didn't want to ruin it, so- No. <laughs> no, no. So I didn't- I didn't go on about that, and I said, oh, it'd be great. <laughs> so I can't wait. <laughs> so, Did you uh, say it in that tone of voice? <laughs> well, I, it was good timing, because I was tired and everything. Mm. And, uh, I'm not a big ol holiday fan, no, but the timing was right. 
Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's the same as last night. I don't always like a curry, but last night- You're in the mood. You get that sort of, oh, yeah. Curry feel- you had a feeling. You had a feeling. You thought, oh, and, and then, lo and behold, like, you were eating the curry. <laughs> yeah. It's <laughs> weird, isn't it? Isn't it weird, the paranormal? Like isn't it weird? Isn't it weird? They- they work in mysterious ways, Yeah, yeah. So yeah. anyway, right, um, yeah. the island, um, if I was on your ear, I'd probably say it's a bit barren. Okay. Uh, not much there, mm -hmm. but if you get a hotel, you guarantee good weather, right? Are you? No, what I mean is, <laughs> it'll be a good holiday. <laughs> if you get a hotel, right, the, the weather's always good, so you're, so you'll have a nice yeah, time. Yeah, as a see. comma, yeah, as a, yeah, go on. Um, and all that, and the food was alright, and, uh, and everything was going alright, I was just having a nice relaxing time. And how do you sort of spend your time on a holiday? You just lie around, is that That sort of holiday, just lying around, yeah. I, I, I bought a book. You bought a book? Yeah. Okay, Ghosts? No, it was- it was short stories, right? It about was like, ghosts? No, it was about like, uh, like special days in our time, and um, time oh. before me and stuff. Oh yeah. And it was like, uh, it was telling you about how in, I think it was 1814, the Thames frozen up. Yeah. And all these stories are told by eye eyewitnesses. Yeah, yeah. Right? So there's some fella who was around in 1814, and, uh, the Thames was frozen, and people used to, uh, put market stalls on there, uh, and they'd yeah. do the shopping. It was like a sh- it was like- like an Oxford Street. Was that Mad Liar Charlie? <laughs> <laughs> no, cause he's famous for that. Yeah. Well, yeah. I'm sure, you know. No, I think that was Mad Liar Charlie. Right. Yeah. So, I was reading that, and then after a couple of days was a bit like, oh. Boring. Yeah, you can do- you can only do sort of so much lying around. And so much know. reading. So, uh, Susan said, let's go on the beach, yeah. have a walk. You ain't gone on the beach? Where have you been the, up to this point then, in, the, in your room? No, just like, round the pool, just- mm, just sure. relaxing and yeah, having yeah. a swim and that. Yeah. Um, so she said, let's go on the beach, I said, alright then, yeah. So, uh, wandered down to the beach, and, uh, first impressions are, yeah, it's alright, it's clean. <laughs> Uh, Your criteria good. is so basic, it's weird. <laughs> <laughs> Hotel, yes. Roof, good. <laughs> Food, adequate. Beach, clean. Next. So, I'm walking along, and everything's good, and, uh, you know, there's a woman, uh, feeding fish bread, which I, I thought that's different. <laughs> He loves a bit of originality. <laughs> he was feeding <laughs> fish bread. This woman was there, like, up to her, up to her knees in water. Yeah. And she was stood was there- Was that a sea? Chucking, yeah. Oh, right, chuck, chucking this bread, and I thought, what's she doing? And I stood there and watched for a minute, and there was little fish coming up, having the bread. I thought, oh. So I carried on- <laughs> Carried on walking, and, uh, everything's going well, and then this fella comes towards me. Everything's going well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's original. Original. falling over. A clean, clean feeding bread. Mm. Yeah. Two points for originality. Well, yeah, well. yeah, yeah. Fella comes walking towards me. Oi, oi. He's only got no pants on. Oh. So I said, Suzanne, what's going on? <laughs> Why did he turn to her? <laughs> like she knows more so than she him. Said, so she said, oh, yeah, yeah, it's, uh, she said, yeah, it's a nudist. This is this gonna be a long story? Can you, can you pull that coffee? Can you give me that coffee over? Um, sorry. Sorry, this is really bad. Yeah, because he's pulled pouring... Thank you. Just amuse yourselves while we uh, talk the coffee. Thank you very much. Uh, I'll have a cup of coffee, Carl. Right. Thanks. Yeah. Cheers. Mm. Do, 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 Cold. Do, do. Right. Good. Yeah. Okay. Right. So. Great. Uh, thank you. So she said, "Yeah, it's a, uh, it's a nudist yeah. beach." So I said, "Well, why? What?" I said, "We're all mixed. Mi it's all mixed up. Normally on a nudist beach, yeah, it's a nudist beach. You don't go wandering on there when you get your clothes on and that." Mm. So it annoyed me a bit. Because there wasn't any signs, so this fella's getting closer. Well, the knob out was a sign. Yeah, right. So he's getting closer, and he walked past me. It was an old fella, uh, and he walked past me. He had a hat on and a, and a little pipe and a big rucksack on his back. <laughs> right. So he got me thinking. Well, not strictly about, naked. I'm walking along and mm. I'm thinking, right? Why do people want to do this? So straight away, it was I wasn't on holiday anymore because most of the time when I'm on holiday, I don't think about anything. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Your mind's a blank. I just switch <laughs> off. <laughs> right? But all, all of a sudden, this this has got in my head now, and I turn around <laughs> to, to look at him <laughs> and- Check out his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> and the bag, and this bag, right, I swear, it was, it was massive, right? What? You had a massive bag? The, the bag. The <laughs> his rucksack. <laughs> his rucksack. Oh, right, okay. So it's, when I said, he said there was an old couple coming towards me, and I said, what was lower, the bloke's bollocks or the woman's tits? And he said, well, that was another point, she might as well have worn knickers. <laughs> <laughs> that's what he said to me. 
So, so, you, so you saw the bag. So it annoyed me, yeah, because the whole idea in it. I, oh, this is what I think. And, I mean, I might be wrong, right? <laughs> might be wrong. Chances are you never have been. Wrong. You never have been before. Being <laughs> nudist, right? Mm. What's it all about? <laughs> so I'll tell you on that on that point, Carl. Let's play a tune. Let's come back and we'll discuss. <laughs> what are we gonna play? We'll discuss uh, that very oh. issue. We have we got some ideas. We did chat about this last week, Carl. In your absence. All right. Well, we'll play the choral. Okay, it's yeah. a good one. Then. Yeah. <laughs> choral, dreaming of you. On XFM 104.9, I'm Ricky Gervais with me, Steve Merchant and Carl Pilkington. If you've just joined us, Carl is walking down the beach yeah. and a man has just passed him with his knob out. Yeah, his testicles out and his, his a huge, huge bag, apparently. Right. Now, we're gonna, we sum this up, you know, quick, because we did talk about it last week, you know, you did, you did call me and tell me some of these things and we, we sort of, uh, mentioned it last week, but, um, you just wanna say your, th just give us your thoughts on nudity. Well, what I don't understand is, right, nudity, I thought it was all about, you know, sort of being free. Yeah. Natural, letting the breeze, you know, blow around you and that. Uh, that's, that's all I can think is of, of like the bonus of doing it. Mm. But, you can get that by just having a pair of shorts on, right? Because mm. I'm not one for getting my kit off. It's just something a bit weird about it, isn't it? Normally, if I go for a walk on the beach, I'll, I'll put a shirt on. Sure. But leave it unbuttoned. Yeah. Oh, right, yeah, 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 tease yeah, the ladies, yeah. sure. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But, it just feels a bit weird. Mm. So it's best to cover you back anyway, because the sun yeah, and yeah, all that. Advice, yeah. But when I saw him, and I thought, well, right, is he doing it to sort of be free and be comfy and all that? And then I thought, but he's carrying a big bag, yeah. right? I've got a pair of shorts on, and I'm not looking at him thinking, I bet he's really comfy. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I wasn't yeah. going, I can't wait to get home and get my shorts off. These, <laughs> they, they're really annoying me, these. <laughs> <laughs> so. <laughs> and that, that, that's just it. I don't get what it's all about. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Well, um, okay. Well, um, my, my advice to you is don't, don't, go, don't go to nudist beaches again. Well, I didn't. I didn't go again. Do you I play, do you play volleyball? Nope. Well, there's, no, there's nothing in it for you, to be honest, Carl. <laughs> do you ever walk around the house nude? Not really. Only if, like, it's quickly to sort of jump out of bed and go and get a glass of orange. But I've got to be careful, because living on a high street, this flat's right across the way looking in. Yeah. And the thing a is, it's all Chinese like, fella. There's a little Chinese exactly. fella. Exactly. And the other one, the one, the one, is he the there's one? There's the old woman reading a book. Yeah, it could be dead for all yeah. we know. Um, it hasn't moved. There's some bouncers and I, Some bouncers? I think so, yeah. <laughs> is that a euphemism? There always- <laughs> There's always, uh, Her name's Carol. <laughs> 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 but, uh, yeah, the only time, if I nip out, sort of get out of bed at night, go and get an orange, I've still got to be careful, because if they're awake and I open the fridge door- Oh, and the you're light comes up, yeah. Yeah. They'll, they'll sort of see the light. And the shadow. Turn round. And, and the weird, long, stretchy shadow. Yeah. Um, yeah. what, what, what did you get- you get up and got orange juice or orange squash? You know, Robinson's. <laughs> you can't advertise on Why don't you take a glass of that to bed with? Why are you getting up? Yeah. Because uh, whenever I do that, I normally don't wake up and it's a waste, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> the man is a genius. <laughs> and he, look, well, continuing our, 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 our rocking out thing. Yeah, we're in a rock mood. Well, I think this sums up rock and roll, doesn't it? It's not called rock and roll, is it? Yeah. <laughs> Textbook. <laughs> <laughs> 